So I just returned from a backpacking trip up in the North Cascades of Washington. I've done a lot of backpacking all over the Northwest and beyond, but I did something on this trip that I've never done before, and I hope I never do again, and I hope that you never do it either. This is not a mountain range where you want to leave your sleeping bag in the car, which is exactly what I did on this trip. Now, in my defense, I'm not usually that guy. I'm usually the guy with the extra stuff, a few comforts and luxuries even, like a couple of beers to enjoy after a long day on the trail. This is what happens when you leave your sleeping bag in the car. You end up unwrapping one of these space blankets that everybody's had in their pack for like 30 years and never used. And this is what that sounds like. This thing goes on forever. The other thing you do when you leave your sleeping bag in the car is you borrow all of your friend's puffy jackets. One, two, three, and mine makes four. And then you borrow your buddy's tent fly and you're gonna throw that on. And then anything else you can. Oh, my chair, that'll anchor everything on my feet. And then you've got the space blanket. So it's gonna be like sleeping in a big pile of gold lame. So this is what it's like when you leave your sleeping bag in the car. And in the end, it was a fantastic trip. The North Cascades and the weather were very kind to me that time. It was really invigorating and inspiring to be out on the trail again with friends I've been trekking with for going into four different decades. I recommend having good friends when you go backpacking, just in case you forget your sleeping bag.